This is where League One side Clyde Football Club play their home matches, but their landlord North Lanarkshire Council say that tenancy is under review. That's because just weeks after his controversial signing at Wraith Rovers, 32-year-old David Goodwillie is set to return to this club. Now, Goodwillie played here for around five years without a huge amount of attention, but in a statement, the club said he will return to Clyde's first team where he will train and play as normal, in essence, continuing his footballing career. However, North Lancashire Council, who own and control Broadwood Stadium, say they're reviewing their commercial links with the side, including whether or not the team could continue to play here. Goodwillie's signing at Wraith Rovers was marred with controversy and women's organisations say they're appalled by the U-turn. I think this sends entirely the wrong message about how seriously our football clubs take the issue of violence against women. David Goodwillie has been ruled by a senior judge to be a rapist. I have not seen any remorse or contrition from him about the impact of, of his actions on the, the women that, that he raped. Wraith Rovers initially stood by their decision to sign the rapist and that lost them fans, sponsorship deals, board members and high profile supporters like the author Val McGermid. In reaction to the loan, she tweeted her disgust and called out the mealy mouthed talk from Wraith Rovers board about ending Goodwillie's contract. The striker hasn't publicly expressed any remorse for the rape and Clyde haven't made any reference to the controversy. Tonight, the consequences of that decision could be far greater than anticipated. Vanessa Taff, STV News, Cumbernauld.